What is going on guys? This is KNASD3090 here. Welcome back to another Miami Marlins franchise episode 19. Now this past year we had a very solid regular season. However, we lost in the NLDS to the Braves in five games. Now we do have some work to do. Uh, we talked in the end of last episode. We're probably going to move on from Alcantara. He is making about $9 million a year. He's going down in overall. I hope we'll be able to move him. I think so. He's an 85 overall. We do have a big time prospect ready to pitch. Um, I don't think we're going to do anything crazy. We might see what's out there for an ace, but let's just get into the offseason. Now, um, we might have a guy to not accept his uh, option. So, uh, yeah, I hope Seager uh, decides to stay. So, exclusive free agents. We got Irizarry and Claudio. I forgot Claudio was a free agent. He pitched okay, um, but $3 million for an 81 overall reliever. I'm going to pass. So, Irizarry, I'd like to keep him. 10 mil a year is not awful. He was asking for 15. Now, this past year, he wasn't the, his dominant self. Three years prior to last year, his ERA, as you can see, was in the twos. 281, 244, and 209. This past year's ERA is 3.38, which is like a run and a half almost higher. But his whip is still under one, so I think that's just a little bit of bad luck. Um... Let's give him the qualifying offer. I'll do a four-year deal player option as a closer, ten million a year. I'll do that. That is a little pricey, but Alcantara's making nine, and we're gonna move on from him to get a dominant closer, ten million a year. I think is fair. We have nothing to worry about for coaches, so let's go a few days and see what happens. Barreto has declined his option. He is now a free agent. Seager has. That's our middle infield. All right, we got more work to do. Um, Irizarry signed, so that's good. Uh, now, Barreto has been pretty solid for us. Nothing crazy. He's making like $3 million a year. How much does he want now? 16 I see why he declined his off. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to tender a qualifying offer for him. We're not going to bring him back. Now, who do we have in the system that we could we, who can step in? Isan Diaz is an 80 overall. Really solid player. Um, he's been kind of a bench guy for us. McMillan uh, is a C potential, or solid hitter, um, but nothing crazy. Kohler is promising, but do we kind of go all in? Um, Schnell, we could, we can't move him to second base. No one else here really too crazy about moving off position. Uh, McKnight can play second now. I do feel like that's a little bit hurt, like. His fielding is super good. But he doesn't have the best arm, so actually playing second would not be the worst thing. Arias can't play second. Powson can play second. But I think McKnight, with that fielding, has a lot of value. So I'm going to do this. So McKnight is now going to be a second baseman. He that has that as a secondary position. So it's we can do that. He's going to be our second baseman. He's an 80 overall. Now Diaz... He can hit a little bit more, but I think having that elite fielding and then he's an A potential for McKnight is not a bad option. And actually, Diaz is going to be up for arbitration uh, in a year, so he's going to get expensive. So we're going to let Barreto go, get a draft pick for him. Um, now, Seager, give him a qualifying offer. How much does he want a year? Five year, obviously the max. Um, let's see if we can do three with the player. He's 31. He's not young. Let's see if that works. Sim a day. Still has not accepted it. All right, do you accept it? He has not. Um, I'll do four with the last year being a player option. That should bring the bar up a little bit more. I mean, he has been outright amazing. This past year, he did get hurt, but actually, last two years he's gotten hurt, but he's still producing. Um, well, let's go another day and then see what happens. So, did he accept it? He did not. So he's still a free agent. We're going to have to see what happens. Arbitration. Kalenic is up for arbitration. He's probably going to be a trade ship. He is an 82 overall. And Naylor. Oh, I might combine the two and maybe get an outfielder. William Harris. Or, yeah, he pitched all right, actually. Um, How much does he want as an arbitration guy? 1.2 for the next three years, I think, is a very fair deal. More like 1.3, but that's a very good deal for a most likely a middle reliever. Um... Diaz has a legit power complete. He can play second, but he's not good at defense. But I like him as a bench bat. 
Let's just offer him arbitration before we forget. And um, Platoon at 1.4 is a little pricey. So. Yeah, whatever. Um, and then, okay, so Kalenic is probably going to get 7 mil a year. All right, so I'm going to have to just, I'm going to wait. Let's offer him arbitration. I'm going to do like 3 million a year. Now, I don't want, the reason why is because if I don't want to offer him that contract yet, I want to make sure we have enough funds to keep Seager. Naylor um, had a very solid regular season, but his like war is never crazy high because his defense is so, yeah. So with him, I think pocketing, uh, packaging, excuse me, both him and, and Kalenic, I think we can get a big time corner outfield bat. We may need it because I mean Seeger may not come back, and who knows? Um, maybe uh, Seeger just starts declining. So let's see. Jay Groom obviously would like to keep him long term. He did struggle a little bit this past year, but a five year deal. Uh, he doesn't love it. Four years at four point two. I'll do that. Let's. Back load it. We'll save a little bit of money this year. Hudson, he's going to be in the rotation for sure. Um, Evan, no, Evan White could play in the outfield for us. That's off another option. But uh, yeah, let me just go through this. There's not nothing really for you guys to see. Actually, McKnight, a four-year deal. Let's do that and let's uh, front load. We'll pay him a little bit more now, but he'll be cheaper down the road. Um, let me just sign all these guys, and then we'll continue and see what happens with our uh, boy Seager, and hopefully he stays. All right, so contracts offer offers were made. Now, as you can see, Hudson is L, uh, available for the Rule 5 draft. He's going to be in our rotation, so I'm going to add him right now before I forget. We have to do some other players as well, um, but we'll cross that bridge we get twice. I just want to make sure we don't forget him. There are several guys who are available that we got to take care of, uh, but let's just sim a few days and see what happens Todd Beavers is a closer going to the Twins. Um, let's take a look at free agency, actually, and just see. Wow, Boba shuts out there. there. Okay, Seager, no one's offered him a deal yet. There's Vlad. Damn, Vlad looks good. And hopefully he leaves the Mets and goes... He hit 236 last year with 26 home runs. Not that good. Um, Casey Mize is out there, but I want to make sure we keep Seager... Stannon got traded for Ethan Hankins. All right, did he sign? He still hasn't. Oops. Does he have anyone offering him a contract? Just us. Okay. We're still waiting to see what happens with Barreto. Casey Mize is a Met. Kopech is a Brave, so our division's getting stronger. Sean Murphy's a Blue Jay. Pete Alonso is an A. Gohara's a Ray. Mejia is a Ranger. All right, let's see what else is happening in free agency. Again, no one's offered Seager a deal. Where is our boy Barreto? No one's offered him a deal yet. He declined arbitration, though, so he's a free agent. Same with Seager, that's obvious. Bo Bichette's a Philly. Damn, our division's getting pretty tough. Ten-year deal. Martez is a Red Sox. Chancisco's a Met. Leclerc for Gabby Guerrero. Okay, let's check on. Um, now the Braves are in on Seager. Our bar is higher, but I would hope he accepts ours. Walker's a, a, Ray, a Ray. Kyle Wright is a Ray. Come on, Seager. What are you waiting for? Right, I think he signed. He did. Now what is our budget looking like? Barely positive. Okay. Now, NCRT's got one year left. He's a free agent. Now, Kalenic could be his replacement, but uh, he's super expensive. So, um, let's take a look at tender contracts. All right. So, they're just waiting on these three guys to sign. So, um, 40 man roster. There's Hernandez. I want to make sure we get. Where was he? So, Colvin should not be eligible for the Rule 5 draft yet. He's not. This guy right here is. I want to add him. Ramon Hernandez. There is a reliever. Macbeth, who I wanted to add. Oh, wait. Our 40 man's full. I want to add Macbeth. That's probably it. Or in Arnelis, that first baseman, maybe. Let's see what he looks like. 
not bad. Um, his potential went up. What is his potential now? 81, nothing crazy. I might actually just let him be and see what happens. Um, it is a reliever at the end of the day. So, um, let's see one thing here. If I offer Kalenic a deal, basically, so I know I can trade him. We can't afford it. Alright, so, um, I'm going to have to wait to the end of the offseason to make this deal. But I want to get a new left fielder. Nick, I'm not going to say his last name, goes to the White Sox. Oh, okay, I'll fix that. Oh, perfect, okay. Probably get claimed by some teams. Reese McGuire is a twin. Yep. Gomber. Austin Gomber is a pirate. Franklin Barreto is a White Sox. Five-year, $63 million deal. Hey, he finally got paid. Velasquez is a Dodger. He's super short. Uh, Diaz is a Mariner. Brendan Rodgers is a Royal. Jonathan David. White Sox are making moves. Senzel's a Met. Damn, this division's going to be tough. Riley's a Tiger. Lamette going to the White Sox. Nicky Del Monaco is going to the Rangers. Tony Kemp is a Brave. Garrett Cole's a Ranger. Staying in Texas. Skaggs is an Astro. Granite is an Astro. Rule 5 draft. I have not seen any of our guys get taken. We're going to skip our selection. You might have got away with not having protected those guys. Perfect. Okay. Um, Keir Meyer is a twin. Chris Sale is a royal. Didn't even pitch last year. A $9 million one-year deal. Mancini is a twin. Twins now making a lot of moves. Jake Bowers got traded for Josh Bell. Okay. Okay. They sided with Kalenic, so his contract's quite high. So our budget's probably negative. It is, but now it's time to get a new left fielder. I have a guy in mind. And luckily, in terms of budget, we can trade Alcantara, Kalenic, and that right there is $16 million. And then where is Jay Groom? Oh, not Jay Groom. Josh Naylor, so that's like $20 million right there. So let's go to outfielders. And Reyes actually might be uh, NCRT's replace, replacement. I think he's going to be his replacement next year. Um, we do have Evan White, who's not bad. Um, not bad at all, but I kind of want to go big. Not Eloy. Have him like every franchise. <laughs> um, not Tay Oscar. Where are you? Not Soto. Ronald Acuna Jr. We've never had him before. And he is a very team friendly contract, only making ten million for the and is it going down every year? No, it's ten million flat. So Nailer Kalenic. They can't do it because of budget. So okay, let me take out Alcantara and let's add Arturo would get the deal done. Now, I like him a lot, So, but we know someone like that could get the deal done. What if I include Will Banfield? Nope. Um, I include Arias because we really don't need him now that we have Seeger locked up. So, Naylor, Kalenic, and Arias, and we get Acuna. All right. <laughs> I'll do that. Now, we still need to trade. Alcantara. Let's just do prospects. We can get not really much in that. A reliever who's 19 of 74 overall, a closer. That's not those are three solid players, nothing crazy. I'd do that from the a closer who's nay potential. Hmm. Starting pitcher no, no. Right, what does Reggie Dixon guy look like? He's a B potential, 72 overall. Ooh, he has some elite skills now. Unfortunately, his potential went down, but look at that contact, look at the speed. Vision, discipline are good. His durability and fielding are bad. I think he's still got a couple more years in the minors, but we also get a closer who is an A potential is 18. So I'll do that. And that saves us some money. So our budget now should be positive. It is, and we have freaking Ronald Acuna on the team. Contract extensions. And CRT, we're not we're gonna let him walk. Roger Ramirez has one year service time. I might just give him like a five year deal. Five year closer. Four point five million a year. Sure. Perfect. Signed him. Done. Um 
Maxwell Pearson, or Person. Four years bullpen, done. Just lock these guys up, man. I think that's good. So, uh, our budget this year is $183 million. Next year, it's $162, but we really don't have anyone for any free agents. And CRT is a free agent. I think that's really it. We are, I mean, Ramirez is going to be a lot more expensive, but, I mean, he's an 88 overall, and he should go up. Maxwell Person is going to go up like a million, but he's 82 overall, and he's 23 years old. So, and we have uh in CIT's replacement so the next three years is like our window maybe two because david doll has got a two-year deal is it a player option though it is this could be his last year barrios he is a player ah, actually we have two guys with player options that's a little worrisome um let's uh go to the regular season build up our roster and then we'll end the video so Barrio, Sixto, Fabio, Groom, Hudson, Willie Perez is our long man. That's incorrect. Herb Tyler will be our long man. I'll probably send Perez down. Nieder and Braxton Garrett are going to clear waivers. Send you down. I am going to call up. William Harris, who we gave a contract, got sent down. I'm going to call him up because he's a lefty. Oh, Maxwell Bynum's a lefty. What's his contract, Bynum's? 110000 So we'll call up Harris or Jerez once, his, uh, once he clears because we don't have a lot of lefties, I don't think. Brister's right-handed. Keith is right-handed. Ramirez is right. Irizarry's a right. So, yeah, we definitely need Williams. For a lefty in that pen. Catchers, we got Zarate and Banfield, Tippett and Diaz, second baseman. McKnight's going to start. Third base, Crowell. Diaz can play short, and then this Diaz can play for. Uh, no, I thought there was no. Oh, maybe not. Um, Pawson can play second chart. Acuna, Evan Wilson in the minors. Where it is. Okay, Reyes will start in the AAA. That's fine. Dahl. All right, so let's build that lineup. NCRT, Cunha, Seeger, Tippett, Dahl, Zarate, uh, Lewin Diaz. Is, yeah, that's fine as a DH. Uh, McKnight and Crowell. That's a damn good lineup. <laughs> we have three 99s, a 97, and a 92 right there. So NCRT, Cunha, Seeger, Tippett, Dahl, Zarate, not Isan Diaz. We want McKnight and Crowell. Again. Oops, there, oh, McKnight's there. That is an amazing lineup. Let's make sure our scouts are the best. We're actually going to have some extra draft picks too, which is hilarious. We can upgrade Central. We did that. All right. We If we're not in the number one ranked team, I don't know. That's one of the best. I mean, second in speed, first in contact, fifth in power, second in pitching, sixth in defense. Division stuff. In terms of top prospects, we have the number two. He's now in the majors. Um, we also have... Colvin, who's at 13. We have Tommy Hammond, who's a catcher, who's just continually continually approving. We have McKnight, who's 19, who's now starting. Schnell is at 20. We have Evan Wade at 23. Now, um, I don't know what we're going to do with him. He has a B potential. Maybe if he just goes nuts in the minors, we might have to find a spot for him. Or he's just good depth. Gonzalez is a closer. And we've got to have a couple more. Easton is another closer. Torres is another closer. We had a lot. So, um, yeah, next episode, I want to see how many wins we get. This team looks stacked. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Please drop a like if you did enjoy it. Sub if you're new, all that fun stuff. You know the drill. I'll talk to you later. Take it easy. Peace.